Hey, this is Kristen, the Real Squirrel. I'm headed to another Goodwill outlet. Which bins am I going to? Let me give you a hint. Hey, so now I'm in Northport, Florida. We're gonna go in here and they call these bargain barns instead of Goodwill outlets. Let's go see what they got. Aunt Sherry and Dad came with me on this trip too. They are always down for a good thrift trip. When I go thrifting at the bins, I spend most of my time digging through the clothing bins, especially when I'm traveling because it's easier to pack. I also like it that clothes are lightweight, so you get a big bang for your buck at the bins, but they're also really easy to ship once they've sold. I was really hoping that this lobster skirt was something, but it wasn't. It was just darn cute. And for the life of me, I could not figure out how this shirt worked. Here's crossing our fingers, we find that other Ferragamo. Digging through the shoes is some of my favorite things to do. It's also some of the hardest because when you have that single shoe that you're trying to find the match to, it can be torture. Now it's time to research. Sometimes this takes the longest, especially whenever you want to make sure that you have something accurate. We like to check eBay for their sold comps to get the best idea of whether or not it's a good purchase. Dad's looking up a pair of Nike shoes that we weren't sure what they were specifically. I know there's a number you can look up on the inside, but they were all over the place with comps. Ultimately, he decided to throw them back. Lots of nice bins, and now we're hitting the beach. So that was fun going to Northport. So Northport is kind of between Sarasota and Fort Myers, and we went to uh, a little of everything whenever I came down to visit my family. Always good to see family, always good to get out and check out the new bins in different locations. So hope you had fun. Remember, if you did have a good time or enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you know that I had fun, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you can get notifications. Let me show you what I found whenever we were in Northport. Um, hard to pick up too much stuff because I'm traveling, but boy, did I find some fun things. Look at this, vintage uh, bonjour. These would have been so cool whenever I was in junior high. I totally would have worn these awesome uh, pants. They are super vintage. It says that they're a size 12, which means that in today's measurements, it's probably like a six. So I'll get these listed with the measurements. And when I list things, I lay them out flat and then put the uh, measuring stick next to it so that in the pictures, you can see the sizing. And sometimes I think that helps with relativity, being able to see it. 
So this is a Brighton belt. It's one of those reversible ones, so it can be brown or uh, black. And um, these bring about mm, maybe maybe twenty to twenty-five dollars, especially the ones that are reversible. I usually do better with men's Brighton belts than women's Brighton belts, but I really like the I really like to sell the reversibles. They sell quicker. I think there's some more belts in here too, but we may get to that. Oh, here's one right here. This is a, I believe it's a coach. Yeah. This is a men's coach belt. So for me, I like selling men's belts better. I don't know why. Maybe it's the sell through rate, but I do like selling a men's uh, belt better. And a coach is always fun to try to sell. So I've also got this, I found a free people bag. I like to pick these up when I find them because then I can put the free people items in it. And this is a, um, where's the tag? Free people intimately. So I think it's a size, um, it says extra small, but you know, these things run big in my opinion. So again, I'll put the measurements down there for everybody to see and then, um, then they know what size they're getting and whether or not it's going to fit them, assuming that they read it, right? <laughs> so I picked this one up. It's a running shirt. Um, if you're familiar with that brand of tennis shoes, those owns, ons, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato. This says that it is a size, you medium. But I like it because it's got that little, um, zippered pocket in the back for when you're running you can throw your cell phone in that and have your music with you this is a jams do you guys remember jams so it looks like it was at a consignment store for 39 however i do know that jams world you can even see on the tag it says 1964 but back in the day these shorts oof, were the coolest kind of shorts to have i've never really seen um, an open cardigan like this before, but I love the colors and I think it'll do really well. Plus it's lightweight and I think it'll travel well in my bag. I do like to pick up linen, especially J. Jill. It's an easy sell. Um, they've got quality items. It says it's an extra small, but linen is an easy sell for me. It's kind of like chambray. It just does well. Linen, chambray, cashmere, easy sells. How pretty is this, right? Can you see what it says on there? It's a polo, Ralph Lauren. I would expect for this with the horse bits on it to probably bring about 30 or 40, maybe more. Um, I'll have to do some more research on the comps. I didn't do a lot of research on the comps because I knew that I wanted it because it's lightweight, it'll fit in my bag. And Ralph Lauren is a good sell. How ironic is this? Maybe that's a little bit of reading for the airplane, but the story of stuff, how our obsession with stuff is trashing the planet, our communities and our health and a vision for change. I feel like I'm trying to do what I can to keep it out of the landfill. <laughs> This is cute, right? Little headband. At first I thought it was Gucci, but now I just think it's cute. I'm sure it's not Gucci. You cannot sell used socks on eBay. They don't let you anymore. It doesn't fall into the category. I used to pick up Smartwool socks at the Denver outlet all the time and sell them for an easy 15 to $20. Don't weigh anything. Don't take up much space. Throw it in a flat rate or in a first class package, but they don't do that anymore. So these, will be washed and they'll be mine. So I'm a tall girl and I played volleyball for years. These things aren't cheap when you go to buy them and everybody has to have them for their uniforms and for practices. These run about 15 to 25, depending on the brand and Asics is always good for me because a lot of teams require them to have them. This brand, um, Halifinger, usually does pretty well. If you've kind of passed over these before, don't. Look at the comps on these. They even used are about 40 or 50 bucks. 
sometimes 60 if they're cute and catchy, kitschy like these dogs. So these are a size six, I think, or seven. Um, I think they're a six. And they still had good comps even with the smaller size. So these will be something that I want to get on right away because of the temperature and the weather in the rest of the country, not necessarily in warm, sunny Florida. These are, um, I, I forgot what these are. Oh, Louis A. Cute, right? Normally, I think these boots new were probably 250. So they have a good resale rate on them as well. They sell them in sort of the luxury department of uh, the fancy stores, Nordstrom's and whatever. These are a suede and they're a really soft, like velvety suede and the comps on these were really good. These are a size seven and a half. Cute, right? For the longest time, I walked around with just one of these. It's a Ferragamo. I like the little details on the heel. Walked around with it for the longest time, put it in my cart, <sighs> couldn't find it. Finally threw it back. I thought, well, I'll never find it. We're getting ready to go. I went to go pick up my aunt and say, hey, come on, let's go. There was the other one, so I hustled back and picked them both up. Yay, both Ferragamos. These are a size nine and a half. What a great size, huh? Perfect. <coughs> Same size as my mom. She's over here grunting, saying, I need those shoes. She's at Melda DeMarcos already. She's got plenty of shoes. <laughs> so this is an anthropology brand, Pleoni, or however you want to say it. Um, but it's super lightweight and um, I think it'll fit in my bag on the airplane. A little bit of Athleta. It's a size small, probably more like a tennis shirt or something similar. Good shape. So it's a size small and um, in good condition for white. Sometimes I'm hesitant to pick up white at the bins because you never know if you're gonna cut it home and find that hidden stain. But I did look it over really good and I think it's do, it, it'll be fine. Lightweight. So this athleta is, is gonna be easy to transport home. Lightweight, it will look great in my Poshmark closet. Do you need a link to my Poshmark closet? Did you check in the description? You can check it there. Also my eBay and my Instagram and some of my other videos. So Vera Bradley, this is a retired Imperial something uh, pattern. I can't remember, but um, just for credit cards, which has been great because everybody just carries a credit card anymore. So these still sell really well, practically weigh nothing. So um, I did pick this up and probably get 10 or $12 for it, but the weight to income ratio is big. So that's why, relatively speaking. That's why I did go ahead and pick that up. So this one, I'm very happy to find. This is a long champs. I did do some research on it to make sure that it looked like it was good. Um, consulted with uh, a group that I know that does do uh, a quick look over on it. And I love it that they fold up. I do kind of really like this pumpkin color, but everything looks good on the inside. Um, the handles look nice. It's in pretty decent shape. There's a couple of little scuffs, but if you look at their website, they tell you how to clean them. So very excited to find these. this. This is one of the uh, things that I wanted. I wanted to carry, so I find things that I like and excited to find this one. And then lastly, Ah, I did have somebody also look at these. These are Hermes little sandals. The leather feels beautiful and buttery. This is like a canvas linen across the top here. They were right there together. They weren't uh, rubber banded together. And most of them seemed like they were in um, this particular um, outlet. Everything looked like it was, they tried to pair it together. So, it does look really good. I'm really happy with them. The bottoms look nice. Um, the sizing on them is a, mm -mm -mm. I can't remember what the size is on them. Oh, a 41. So that makes it a, 
what is that a nine is 941 so great size fun color excited to get these had a great time at the Fort Myers bins it was fun to go with family it's always fun to go with anybody to, to help you get excited about the things that they find and the things that you find but um, the hardcover book was a dollar thirty nine a dollar thirty nine geez in Denver they're only 49 cents a piece um, other wares they were a dollar I don't remember what that is at 10 pounds a dollar ninety nine a pound with tax and everything all in I'm at twenty seven dollars and one cent so a lot of good fun things hopefully cross your fingers that I can get a lot of them into my carry-on flying frontier so that you know you've only got the one little backpack that you got to take with you so probably not the best um, mode of transportation if you intend to go to the bins because I always seem to come out with cartload <laughs> But it's always fun to go. I love seeing how other bins and other locations do things. I love the things that you find, meeting all the people. I've had a really good time. So don't forget to check me out on Instagram um, where you can see some more adventures with my mom and dad and my aunts. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. If you have fun watching our video, give us a thumbs up. If you know that we had fun at the bins, give us a th thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe and see our next video, check us out, click that little bell, and we'll see you next time.